Hey everybody, Mike here, back with another video. And I just wanted to let everyone know that I have ordered the Apple iPhone XS Max. I will be receiving it this Friday. I wanted to remind everyone that it was not cheap up here in Canada, as you remember from my previous video, $1,519 before tax. So it uh, definitely doesn't put a smile on my mouth for the price, but uh, you know, if, if you love tech, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I will be leaving the Android ecosystem. So the phone that I've been using for the last 10 months has been the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. I love the phone very much. Uh, unfortunately, the one thing that has been frustrating for me is that it's not compatible with all my Apple devices. I use a Mac, iPad, iPod, Apple TV. So having an Android phone is just doesn't really make the cut because it doesn't sync with any of them. And uh, a phone is, is an extension of oneself. So the device you use the most should be compatible with your other devices. So this is why I'm going back to iPhone. Now Android has a lot of perks over iOS as well as iOS has some perks over Android. And in this video, I'm gonna explain the features that I love on Android that I wish iOS will adopt in the future. So let's get started. Number one. So on Samsung phones, there is the feature called the always on display. And this is on all of their phones now which utilizes the OLED technology on their screens. And the pixels that are lit up are the ones only being activated. So this uses very little energy. It allows you to see the time as well as your current notifications without having to turn on the screen itself. This is one thing that Apple has not adopted yet. And now that they are using OLED technology on their phones. I really hope that in the near future, iOS will adopt a similar type of feature. They don't necessarily have to copy Samsung, but it is 2018 and Apple should adopt something similar to that. Number two, I love how you are able to have live widgets on an Android phone. The two main widgets I actually use are the calendar as well as the weather app just because you can always see the weather for the week. It updates all the time. Same with the calendar. You don't have to go into the calendar. I love how you can see everything at a glance, all your appointments. Uh, in this case, I track my previous workouts, so I know uh, what body part to train the next time I go to the gym. I could just take a quick glance at it. Whereas in iOS, you have to go into the calendar app and you have to go to the particular date to see what you have scheduled or have done in the past. Uh, and that kind of that takes a little bit more time. It's not as convenient. So I really hope that one day either they update their calendar app or they create some sort of live widget. Number three, I love how the notifications on Android, and this is not just particularly for Samsung, it's for all Android phones, is that they have all the notifications bunched up at the top of the screen, which is great. So you can see all of your little icons that you have a notification from, and it's just a lot cleaner. Whereas in iOS, the notifications basically are either on the lock screen, you can see them on the lock screen and you tap to wait, or if you actually are in the operating system, you have to look at all your apps and they'll have a little number on the top, depending on how many notifications you have for that app. And it's just, again, it's it takes a little bit more time to scroll down all over your apps. Whereas Android, you see it all at the top, all at once. Numero cuatro. We all know that the death of the headphone jack on iPhones is probably a permanent thing. I can't see them bringing it back at this point now. It's too far gone. But uh, I love that Samsung and some other Android phones too. There are Android phones that have eliminated it. I'm not going to mention any names in particular, but there are. Uh, that they have been able to retain the headphone jack as well as fit all this great technology in their phones. And it's kind of sad to see the headphone jack go, but that's one thing I just wanted to throw in there. I know Apple's not gonna bring it back, but you know, it's just, it is what it is. Numero cinco. I absolutely love the fact that Samsung and other Android phones, such as the Pixel phones, the uh, uh, OnePlus 6, OnePlus 5, all these other Android phones include a fast charging brick with their phones in the box, which allows you to charge the phone very quickly. For example, my Samsung Note 8, if the percentage is a 2%, you plug it in, half hour later, you're at 65%, literally within half an hour. And that's absolutely awesome. And I wish for the price that you're paying for an iPhone nowadays, 
that they include a fast charging power brick in the box. And unfortunately they don't. I went on Apple website to see how much it costs to retrofit their own fast charging brick. It is $59 Canadian for the power brick. Another $25 just for the cable, which brings you up to $84 if you wanna have your own fast charging capabilities with the iPhone. Unfortunately, this is very unreasonable. $25 for just a cable, like, that's just ridiculous. But you know, knowing me, I'm gonna go buy it because I just love it. But for the price that you're paying for an iPhone, which is more expensive than most other Android phones, they really should consider including that in the box. And number six, I really love that you're able to move the icons anywhere on the screen on Android. It's just more customizable. With iPhone, it's just in their own grid where you can put the app and it just automatically uh, goes in the specific order that the phone decides and it would be nice just like a computer being able to put it anywhere on the screen. Not sure if Apple will do this in the future, but I mean, that is a nice perk to have. So those are my top six features that I wish iOS would bring over to their operating system from Android. Not necessarily copy Android exactly, but just create their own Apple way of doing it. I think it would make a lot of customers happy, including myself. Like I said, I'm extremely excited to be using the new iPhone uh, and I will be doing an unboxing video for you guys this Friday or Saturday, depending if it comes a day late. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with my features list from Android to iOS or if you disagree. And if you can think of anything else, uh, please add it. And remember to always spank that like button. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. And also remember to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video. Peace.